Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGAUGES.COM Today we're looking at the heading gauge. Now we'll cover the S keys first. S1 will turn the menu on and off. Now unlike most of my other gauges, the menu is usually controlled by the right dial. Because on this gauge the right dial actually controls the heading bug, uh, I can't turn the menus on and off by turning this dial because as you can see it moves the heading. Okay, so this turns the menus on and off, and I'll cover the menus in a second. Now, these buttons, S2, S3, S4, S5, have no function, and S6 also has no function. So you're free to program those in spad.next as you see fit. The left dial will turn your CRS, and you can see the CRS value in the bottom window. Now, if you turn the heading, you'll see now that the heading value appears in the bottom left hand window and whatever control you're currently utilizing you'll see the digital value down in the bottom here so each time you change from left to right the value in the left changes according to the control you're actually setting at that time okay so the autopilot section of the gauge let's get into that in a minute so first of all we need to get into the menu LED for our menu indicates that the nearest hardware control is the top left, so pressing S1 activates the menu. First option in the menu is instructions. If I toggle the left dial, that will put the menu uh, instructions on and off, and it gives you a brief overview of what all the various different menu options do. The next option, like most of our gauges, we have the option to turn on the side buttons. Okay, and we can turn those on and we can turn those off. Now the side buttons and the labels, they can all be configured in spad.next and please check out our side buttons demo on our YouTube channel. Next is the functions of the autopilot. Now, as you can see from the instructions up here, the right dial is your select function and the left dial toggles the function. So as we turn the left dial to the right, the autopilot is selected if we turn it right again and you can see as you turn the left dial to the right it jumps through each autopilot function okay so you keep turning right to get to the function you want and then you turn it left and that will then turn that function on and off so if you turn it left again it toggles it off turn it again toggles it on turn it right to the next function turn it left to turn it on left again to turn it off so Turning it right goes to the next, turning it left toggles the function. So you can turn any of these on or off as you see fit just by simply going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you can also turn the autopilot on and off as well. Okay, so the next function on the menu is the change value. So depending on which autopilot function you have highlighted if there is a changeable value for it it will appear in the bottom so currently we've got altitude highlighted and the value in the bottom is the current altitude the left dial will now set the altitude for the autopilot okay, so now we can change the value of the heading so with left dial to the right until we have heading highlighted now we can flip the right dial to change value and the left dial will now set the heading as well. And you can see the heading changing here as well as actually on the dial itself. Okay, the next option within the menu is compass style. And if we move the left dial, you can see that there's a couple of different styles of compass that we can select. Once again, personal preference. The next menu option is compass marks. So the compass marks can be turned on and off by toggling left and right as well. And the last option on the gauge is the aircraft graphics. So we have several different aircraft graphics. You can have heli helicopter, you can have a standard type uh, heading graphic, uh, two different colors, and obviously you've got two different colors of the slightly larger jet icons as well. So once you've had a play, you can set your preferences and these preferences are saved in the profile. So if you have a helicopter profile, then you can save this in your helicopter profile 
and then you can change it to an airplane and save this and another profile then the gauges will dynamically change with your profiles as well turn in the left sorry turn in the right dial all the way to the left it won't turn this menu off mainly because if it did and i carried on turning then it would start moving the heading so you have to actively turn the menu on and off on this gauge with the s1 button okay and that's the heading gauge i hope this has been helpful Please check back for more videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.